Have you ever fumbled around in the dark trying to change songs on your phone or had to pull out your phone from your pocket in a really crowded place just because you wanted to skip two songs on your playlist? Now, if things like this have happened to you, then this video might just be what you need. Hey guys, Ash here from FTJ by C4 Retech and let's get this video started. Now, if you do end up liking what you see, don't forget to turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Now this app that I'm going to talk about, it's called Skip Track Settings. It's a very simple app. You can download it from the link in the description below. Now, a couple of days back, we did do another video back on C4 eTech where we showed off the Button Mapper app to you guys. The, that app too can be configured to do something like this, but we prefer Skip Track mainly because Skip Track works with the screen off and it is compatible with pretty much any phone as long as you have Oreo or something newer on it. Now, if you don't need to change tracks with the screen off, then I suggest you use Button Mapper. It is easier to overall get working and doesn't need a Windows PC or laptop while this one actually does. Now, here's a card to that video, but if you need you know, to change tracks with the screen off, if that's something you need, well, here's how things work. First, head on over to the download section in the description. Now, that takes you to this page on GitHub. Download the APK file from there, Once you download it, if needed, enable unknown sources and install the APK. Next, head on over to settings, about phone and under software information, tap build number seven times. This enables developer options. Now go into developer options and turn USB debugging on. Once that is done, we are going to need to get a PC or laptop, which is on Windows. Let's head back to the download section in the description. Now, select link to that will let you download minimal ADB and install on your Windows PC. Now, connect the phone to the PC with a USB cable. Hit the Windows key and start typing minimal ADB. You will see this program pop up. Hit enter. Once the minimal ADB window opens up, Type in ADB devices. Now your phone will have a little pop-up with the computer's RSA key. Click on OK and then get back to your PC or laptop. Type in ADB devices again and you will see something like this. If you don't, then you're going to have to unplug your phone, uninstall minimal ADB, reboot, reinstall minimal ADB, reboot again and try the same process and it should work. Anyway, coming back, assuming it works, assuming you see this, now from the description, copy paste this command line into the minimal ADB window. Once you've done that, hit enter and you should see something like this. By that I mean, well, nothing, no success message or anything. Don't worry, this means the process was successfully completed. Now you can unplug your phone from the PC, open up the app, click on enable service and give it notification access and that is pretty much it. You should be good to go. Now try it with your favorite music apps and of course stick this option within the app if you want the long press to work both with screen off as well as screen on. In our testing it worked perfectly with Spotify, Google Play Music as well as YouTube Music. So this is something I really found handy, I really found it interesting so I thought I'll make a video about it. So what do you guys think? Uh, as always, credit to the devs who came up with this. So I will leave a link to the original thread on XDA as well. So, you know, you can leave a little thank you there uh, if you wanna. And uh, I guess that's pretty much it for the video. If you did like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead, vote it down. And if you do end up testing this video, uh, I mean, this uh, app out, just let us know in the comments on how it worked out for you. And if you want to see more similar videos on little hacks and little tips for your phone, then let me know in the comments uh, and I will try to get that done. Also, subscribe if you haven't yet and ring the bell, please. If you've not checked out these videos, go ahead, do that. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, you might find it interesting. Till next time, my name's Ash and you've been watching FTJ by C4 Retech and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.